Hello, my name is Evgeny Rachev, and I'm a cello professor at Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches, Texas. I have written exercises for this etude, and those um, exercises I strongly emphasize on two basic ideas. The first one is understanding the importance, the importance of the left hand frame work. And the second thing that I like to take into great importance here is to break down the passage work to very, very small increments and then understand how is the passage built. This is Dupour, agent number 13. And here I would like to um, demonstrate how to um, work and to apply the exercises below written for this etude. I have uh, chosen two spots in this etude, supposedly the, the most problematic spots, but any spot can become problematic. So in the exercises, you will be welcome to um, choose and pick whatever um, is your problem, whatever you would like to work on. So the first spot here is uh, measure 23. 23. And um, I would like to point out once again that to, to learn a passage, what I like to do is to take it apart, take it apart to smaller um, components and to understand what they are and then put them back, build it again. So this passage, the ascending passage, is nothing um, but two scales going simultaneously parallel to each other um, in thirds. So here's the first one. So as you see, the first scale involves two finger pattern. There are only two fingers that are involved. We don't have that in normal in scales. We don't play scales like that. Scales we play in combination of two or three fingers. So this one, we have to learn it this way for the purpose of this passage. So I would just practice this scale by itself. The second scale, the highest scale that's on top of it, starts from a D and incorporates uh, also two finger pattern. In this case, is using either two or four, two and four or two and three. So it's a little bit uncomfortable because we don't use the first finger, so it feels like we don't have the foundation, we don't have the base. Um, but we have to learn this way for the purpose of this passage. And then I'll just put them together. How do I put them together? Well, put them together, I will concentrate either on the lower scale or the higher scale and uh, uh, we'll kind of sneak in the other note. Of course, slower, much slower than that. So in this case, I'm concentrating on the lower scale by suggesting the top one. I can do the other way around. Etc. Etc. So this is going to introduce one of the scale by, by working, focusing on the other. And then the passage is there. Right after that, there is another spot that I like to talk about and it's um, a little bit more cumbersome. Um, it's um, start from... It's, it has these octaves and arpeggiated octaves here. So how do we make that work? Well, again, when we break it down, we'll notice that it consists of two major patterns, two major frame, left hand frame. The first one is a um, whole, whole half step, which in, in the passage, it is used to um, display a minor arpeggio. Even though if you play it on one string, that's gonna sound like a major, but the way it's used, sounds like a minor, minor uh, uh, arpeggiated tread. The second uh, hand frame is half whole whole. Which sounds major. So that's what I'm going to remember. 
the next thing I'm going to do is connecting them. I can use the D string as a connecting element or the A string. I'm going to show you both. So, they're both very neat. So I'm using the second finger as a connection, as the liaison between one position and the next position. I can do that using the A string, and this is what it's going to look like. So here I need to substitute with a thumb. Now I need to go to a half step above the first finger, substitute one with thumb, and I'm right there. I don't need to look for the new position. I don't need to worry about the intonation because I have a reference note. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information in the video helpful and I would be very, very happy if um, you benefit from it. So please download the exercises below, share them with friends. And uh, if something isn't clear or needs more explanation, there is a contact information below. So please reach out to me and I'll be happy to connect and explain further or even demonstrate and work with you individually.